Thanks for joining us today for our whipped mint scrub butter craft. This is going to invigorate and uplift your tired, achy legs and feet, especially after a long hike or an outdoor adventure. We're going to use the science of infusion in this craft again. But this time, we're going to show a different way to infuse oils and use dried herbs. This scrub butter will last about three to six months in a cool, dry place. But if water gets into the scrub butter, the shelf life might be diminished a little bit. For the actual scrub butter, we're going to need sugar, shea butter, sunflower oil, and dried mint. You can also use spearmint essential oil if you'd like. The tools that we're going to need for this craft are a stove or a burner, a pot, a large bowl, a hand mixer or a stand mixer, a spatula, a strainer, measuring cups and measuring spoons, cheesecloth, a glass jar, and some small containers to put our scrub butter into. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is infuse our sunflower oil with mint leaves. We're going to use a double boiler method of infusion today with our dried herbs. Our recipe calls for filling a jar quarter to halfway with dried herbs and then topping the jar up with oil to nearly the top and then infusing. Since we only actually need two tablespoons of our infused oil for this craft, we're going to make some adjustments. Always use a one to five ratio when making adjustments for infused oils. We'll fill our jar with a couple teaspoons of our mint leaves. And a quarter cup of our sunflower oil. We'll give that a little shake to make sure everything is distributed. We're not gonna cap the jar of herbs and oil, and then we're going to set it uncovered into our pot with a few inches of water. This creates our double boiler. We're going to put the pot on a very low heat for about 45 minutes. If you're making a larger recipe with a full jar of oil, you wanna heat it for about two hours. Make sure the water in the pan doesn't completely evaporate. Turn down the heat if the water simmers or boils. After 45 minutes, we're going to remove the jar from the pot and set it aside to cool. With our mint infused oil all cooled now, we're going to strain out the herbs. We're going to use a strainer with some cheesecloth into another container. We'll set this to the side for the minute. Then we're going to take our bowl and half a cup of shea butter. The butter doesn't have to be melted in this recipe, but it should be a slightly soft texture. Using our mixer, we're going to beat the butter for two to three minutes or until it's light and fluffy. At the end, it'll look something kind of like that. Then we'll take two tablespoons of our mint infused oil and put it into our butter. You'd also put in the spearmint essential oil at this stage if you desired. Now we're going to beat for an additional three minutes until it gets light and fluffy again and looks like buttercream frosting. At the end, it'll look something like that. 
put that off to the side. The last thing we need to do is fold in a quarter cup of our sugar into the whipped butter until it's evenly distributed. And there we have it. Lastly, we'll spoon this into our jars for storage. This recipe makes five and a half ounces of whipped scrub butter. For best results, apply the scrub to skin dampened by a shower or bath. Do not use this on the face or other sensitive areas. Rinse well with warm, running water.